let me explain you how to actually take photographs of your art. Let's first talk about taking pictures with your phone for social media purposes, for example. Don't mind the artwork here. These are just some sketches I was making for a new abstract series of art. First of all, make sure you place your art in the spot with natural lights coming through the window. Then what you want to do is position yourself in a way you are not blocking the light coming from that window onto your art and positioning your phone in a way that also doesn't cast any shadows on your image. Then further, you don't want to hold your phone at an angle like this because then you will get distortions and shapes and perspectives and stuff like that. On top of all of this, studies have shown that people are more attracted to bright pictures than to dark pictures. And so we want to make sure our image is as bright as possible. I usually will increase the brightness before taking the pictures. Now, sometimes it happens that it's just a darker day with more clouds and that your, your image will not be lit enough, not be bright enough, or your artwork is too big which means that a part of the artwork is too far away from the, from the window and then it will be slightly darker than the rest of the image. And so in that scenario, you want to take a sheet of paper, a white sheet of paper, this can be a sketch paper or just regular A4, whatever, and hold it next to the side of the, the, the painting or the drawing that is not lit enough, not bright enough, and then the light will be reflected on top of that sheet of paper onto your artwork, making it brighter. And then, you also want to make sure that your hand is stable while you take the picture. The best way to do this is to use a timer on your phone and set it to three seconds so that your phone is not shaking from pushing the button. And you also want to hold your breath for those three seconds. Now, another thing that you can do to stabilize the image is to take your phone and while you're taking the picture, press it slightly to your body so that your body becomes a natural tripod that stabilizes the image, not on your breast, just some place that is comfortable for you. Now you cannot do that if the window is on top of the artwork, but you can do that if the window is just a wall, a normal window. And finally, you want to make sure there are no large boundaries around your artwork. This will maximize the resolution you get from your image. So hold the phone as close as possible to the image. And when it comes to taking pictures for art prints, you want to use your fancy camera. And you want to use the same setting, natural light, all of the things that I mentioned in the previous section with, with taking pictures with, with your phone. And on top of that, you also want to make sure that the settings on your camera are correct. You use an aperture of, let's say, around f8. You use ISO of 100. And you use a tripod. And you're obviously also going to take pictures in RAW and then edit them in a decent editing software program. Now, alternatively, you can also use a scanner or if you're selling, but this is only for artists who are selling art pieces at $10,000 and above, then you could potentially outsource the photographing of your artworks to professional photographers who probably have some extra things that they can do. I don't know, perhaps not, but whatever. If you're interested in the camera and the lens that I use personally, everything's linked up in the description. And if after taking all those pictures, you're still not selling art, then check out my series. I have a full series on YouTube on how to sell art online and the tips and tricks that I share there. I mean, you can have courses where you will pay hundreds and thousands of dollars for that will not even share those tips. So it's all free. You can check it out. My name is Dries Ketels and I hope to see you around. Ciao, ciao.